North Texas on alert this morning. This is after reports of a patient possibly infected with the deadly Ebola virus. Here's what we know this morning. That patient is in isolation at Texas Health Presbyterian Hospital, and Dallas County health officials just wrapped up a conference call with the CDC. Stephanie Lucero is joining us live at Dallas Commissioner's Court this morning. Stephanie. Yeah, Jason, and that conference call ended just a couple of minutes ago. And what we know now is that the community, everyone should know by the end of today whether or not this patient does indeed uh, have Ebola. The preliminary testing is expected to be finished and communicated to the public by the end of the day today. Now, here's what's ha what happened uh, just a few minutes ago. The uh, health uh, officials here in Dallas County just uh, wrapped up a meeting with the county commissioners here and they just finished that conference call which included the state health department the county health department presbyterian hospital they were all on the line with the cdc the cdc is now preparing to send a team here to dallas just in case this is a confirmed case of ebola now this involves a patient who is right now in isolation at texas health presbyterian hospital in dallas county uh, Director uh, Zachary Thompson says that that person came to Dallas from West Africa. We do not know if he or she is an American citizen. Thompson says that they expect to have the results of that testing by the end of the day and health officials are staying in constant contact with one another. There is no indication, we're told, that any county residents have been impacted by this patient. With me now live is Zachary Thompson. Are you concerned, first off? Well, I think the public should wait till we get the test results. Right now, it's all preliminary, but Dallas County, the Presbyterian Hospital, the State Health Department, and CDC is preparing in case this is a positive case. Right now, we don't see this as a concern in terms of Dallas County residents. Uh, whatever needs to take place, if this is a confirmed case, we will do our EPI investigation. Uh, CDC will come in to Dallas. All of these uh, situations have been put into place in case this is a confirmed case. But right now, Dallas County residents should go about their daily activities and not be concerned. Uh, we got a great uh, hospital, great medical team. Everyone is working to ensure the safety of Dallas County residents. You mentioned you're going to trace where this person has been. Should anybody be concerned about being anywhere near Presbyterian Hospital? No, no. I think one of the things you look at is the isolation, uh, the fact that what's being done there, everything is done according to CDC protocol. What we're focused on right now in our FBI investigation is close family members. Uh, this is not an airborne virus. You have to get it through secretion, uh, blood, that type of transmission. So this is not a situation where you go to the grocery store and you get infected with the virus. So right now, uh, citizens should uh, feel uh, that everything is being handled. Uh, there's no concern about what's going on in any other entity. We're focused on getting the results and then doing a follow-up. In fact, you mentioned that it's more, it's easier to get the flu? Easier to get the flu than it is to get the Ebola virus. This is, I know a lot of people look at TV and they see what's going on in Africa. We have a robust uh, medical community here, a great public health system to be able to respond uh, to these type of viruses. And so everyone is working in concert, the state, federal, and Dallas County. Okay, thank you, Zach. And in the end, health officials obviously hope that this is a negative case and that everybody can stand down. Live in Dallas, Stephanie Lucero, CBS 11 News.